everyone welcome to beauty in the garden i'm t so in today's video i'm going to do a tour of the garden so i'm going to show you the main garden and as well the side garden so down here is a salvia this is a beautiful lilac color it has a nice purple tinge to it and down here is the barbinas now i am going to go ahead and move them as this salvia has gotten really big I realized that my coleus and as well my bleeding heart is not getting enough sunlight now I did think when I put the salvia here it wasn't gonna get this big and you guys it got bigger than I expected so what you see here it actually took up I would say about 16 18 inches so I'm gonna um, move the coleus that's right here and the bleeding heart and I'm gonna move them over and as well as this uh, poblano pepper here okay the barbinas and I'm gonna take them up as well the peas <laughs> the peas have grown a lot I has a beautiful flower on it which you guys see and they actually are starting to put on some pods now I am gonna take a string and tie it from here to the other side that the beans are so that it will give a nice support because I kind of want them to kind of push back a little further so I'm gonna take a string and tie it right across the beans probably down here at the bottom and somewhere in the middle I'm gonna go ahead and take a, a string and put it across them down here um, I see a weed um, this is grass actually and it it put down these rhizomes and they keep spreading and I'm probably gonna have to go ahead and check in here and see if I can pull this completely out so right here is the onions they're doing really well I'm gonna pull this one up well that one's actually no good it actually rotted but the onions are doing really good what you see here now this is the Texas sweet and I have a couple of white onions in here that are doing well I am going to move the okra out I was going to plant some okra in the place a couple of okra in here maybe about a four of them but I changed my mind I'm gonna actually go ahead and take that out as we continue to go along here the tomato so here is a better bush tomato um, which you see down here I have some tomatoes now this is a determinant variety it's um, is going to be a bush it's going to be very bushy I will not uh, take any suckers off of this tomato I'm gonna to let it go ahead and do what it needs to do and uh, leave it as it is right here is my parsley now I see that my parsley is starting to bolt so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop all the little heads off that I see that is trying to I'm actually going to use this so I'm going to put that in my bowl over here so right here is a pepper this is a um, cherry hot pepper right here now I am today going to harvest the Swiss chard so I'm actually going to start on this side here and I'm gonna start at the bottom and I'm going to harvest my chard So here is the charred leaves, and I'm just gonna pop them from the bottom, and I will leave the middle alone. Beautiful chard. Um, I'm, I'm thinking, I think that this is the giant white chard now this was a variety pack of seeds that I purchased from burpees now I am going to harvest a great deal of them look at that So 
So what I'm going to do is saute them and I'm going to freeze them. And as well, it's going to give my peas that's behind here some sunlight. Now this is going to make a great deal of meals, maybe a good four or five Ziploc bags of meals. Okay, so here is the harvest, and now I'm gonna go inside of the garden and show you what is going on. So would you see the peas that is right here? It's now gonna get some sunlight, and as well, I am gonna to continue to let them bolt so I can collect the seeds. Right here is the bleeding heart, and right there is another better bush tomato, which is now gonna get some more sunlight as well, and it's gonna get a lot bigger. But you see, it already has fruit, and I'm going to clean up the garden floor of any debris that has fell off or decayed. I'm going to remove that so I can prevent the slugs and snails. Right here is some mint. Here is my coleus. coleus. I need to separate them and plant them out. I have a plans to actually put them here. I went ahead and took everything off of here and it looks nice and clean and I will be preparing soil for some new uh, plants here. The pineapples right here are doing good. And as well here in the main garden, harvest some onions. They are doing okay. I think they could do a little bit better, be a little bit bigger, but they're doing really good. And uh, here are the onions, which is bubbing up, which you see, can you guys see that? Like this one is done. You see how this one is limp, bent over? That one is done. So we just go ahead and pull it up because once it does this, that is it. If you don't pull it up, then you risk losing the bulb that you do have. Okay? So now you can see on this side how the peas 
will now get a great deal of sunlight. Right here is my knockout rose. The creeping jennies are putting on, they're putting on a great deal of growth. And that looks really good. So I'm spill out and be very, very bright. Over here is my kale. Here, I went ahead and harvest that as well. Um, here's the scarlet kale here and here. Another scarlet kale right here. Here is the dwarf blue curly kale and my petunias, which I need to fertilize them here and here. Right here, I have a couple of lettuce here and there. I will be putting something in this container and as well the container in that corner. And I will be filling up these beds back up, which you see, I could put a great deal of soil into these containers. Down here, I planted up some more Swiss char and I will be dividing them. If you see, it's a bunch of clusters of them. I will be dividing them out and put them and placing them throughout the garden. Down here is the golden beets and the red beets right here. And they're doing really good. Believe it or not, this, this Savoy cabbage has been going to seed for a long time and it's finally starting to turn and actually starting to turn a little bit brown. So hopefully not too much longer, I will be able to take this out of here. Here are the mums here and a purple queen. And down here is another mum. On to the rest of the garden. Now over here is my two-year-old peppers, my key lime, and as well, I do not know what exactly is this plant right here whatsoever. It was a plant that was discounted, but had no tag on it, no name on it. Um, I need to do that leaf finder where you can actually figure out what particular plant you have because I'm not sure exactly what this is because this is not a boxwood. Okay, so on this side, I wanted to show you, I have now a papaya tree. I know I'm gonna to have to put it away because the temperature is between 40 and 30 degrees. So I will be putting this in the greenhouse during the winter and I won't let it get any taller than five feet, okay? Here is the calabacoa that I popped right here on the fence. Down here is the tomatoes. Now, here and here, I'm not quite sure what tomatoes these are. I just went ahead and popped them in this spot. So here is the brandy wine that is putting on, okay. Down here, I popped in the fire bean and the dragon tongue beans right here in this spot. The onions are doing okay here. And as we stroll along, I have the Whopper tomato, which you guys is way up there now. It's actually almost to the fence, top of the fence. But here, what you see here is the Whopper tomato. Okay. That has put on a great deal as well. I cannot wait to cut a fresh tomato. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't wait. With a little bit of salt, I just can't wait to just bite into a fresh tomato. So this is the hot cherry, more onions. Over here is the Juliet tomatoes. Some more onions, an Amish paste, some Roma tomatoes here, and these beautiful onions here down here we have the purple Cherokee tomato as well which is right here and as we stroll along this is my bunching onions down here is the yum yum peppers here the brandy wine the pink ox heart tomato and then the peppers right here are, what are these? The hot red cherries here, here, and down here is a jalapeno, nope. 
Yeah. Right here is a jalapeno. My serrano chili died. Uh, in the back corner right there is my black cherry tomatoes. And right here is the noodle bean back here. And a rosemary. So as we stroll along, here is a new ensemble I have going here. So the hookahs here and here. I popped in the lavender, some mums, and the tomato plant right here. I missed the mark on my tomatoes, so I went a couple days without watering it, and it really took a hit. And I should have watered them since they are in the size container that they are. I knew I should have watered them, but it's coming back um, pretty strong. And this right here is the geranium, the geranium kiss. So the greenhouse is full, which you see here. I have a lot of plants that I need to go ahead and pop out there, but I gotta get around to it. The geranium kiss here, the celery plant here, another geranium kiss, the estobe here, my onions that are down here, and the cucumbers is on the back end, and the other two varieties of tomato back here. Back here are my jubilees. So here is just a quick garden update on what is going on around the property. Now I, I am excited about my harvest. Here is my harvest today. <laughs> you guys see here. So here's the harvest. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, this is too heavy. Okay, you guys, we're at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy the content. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you can be notified when i do upload a video and remember there's beauty in everyone's garden and bye bye for now